Yeah, getting you pumped up here. The fans back in the stands, and Padres Will Myers is hitting homers and stealing bases he again. He sure is. So if that's not a reason to celebrate, we don't know what is. Uh, if you're looking for the perfect drink to cheers with, well, we're going to ask Will himself. Yes, uh, we have Will Myers joining us this morning. Good morning, Will. Hey, Will. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So we're going to talk drinks here in a moment, but uh, you're actually right now in Texas getting ready to play tonight against the Rangers. How do you feel about the team so far, the season now underway? Yeah, so far so good. Good first homestand, winning homestand, four and three on the homestand. Uh, it feels good to get back out on the road. Uh, you know, it's something you look forward to. But uh, we're excited to be here in Texas, ready to rock and roll for this road trip. We go Texas to Pittsburgh. Um, you know, it's going to be different tonight playing in, uh, you know, a full capacity stadium. But uh, looking forward to that. It should be, uh, should be a lot different, uh, you know, since uh, we didn't play last year with any fans. But looking forward to getting this road trip started and uh, rocking and rolling. Yeah, yeah a full stadium is going to be a little different than the uh, 20 to 33 uh, percent here at Petco Park. Um, you've right. seen video of, of, the, of the fans going nuts and everything. It'll, it'll feel like the old days, Will. <laughs> That's right. I know. You almost when you, when you see it on TV, it almost looks fake, you know, because you're used to seeing it, uh, it pretty empty. But uh, back to back to the old ways. So uh, we'll see what happens. And well, I do want to mention I was there Monday night when you guys played the Giants mm -hmm. and right behind home plate when Fernando Tatis went down uh, with that shoulder injury. So I got to see like the way his arm kind of flung yeah. back. I got to ask you, how's sure. he doing? Uh, how are you guys doing now that he's out for a few days? Yeah, you know, it's tough, obviously, you know, losing any type of player is uh, especially that caliber is tough. But, uh, you know, this is the big leagues and this is, uh, you know, this is what we do. You know, when somebody goes down, somebody else picks up the slack. Um, you know, it's obviously hard to replace a guy like Fernando Tatis. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we still got to go out there and keep playing each day because uh, the other team doesn't feel bad for us. And uh, we got to go out there and, and still win ball games. And uh, so far, so good. We like where we're at, uh, you know, coming into this road trip. So hopefully we can uh, pick it up and come out with a uh, winning road trip right here. Yeah. Did you offer him a uh, cut water vodka meal to help with the pain a little bit? Because I know you've got this new partnership <laughs> you know going on here. It may have worked. It may have, worked. It may have <laughs> helped him uh, heal much faster. That's yeah. right. Tell us, though, seriously about this uh, this new part, this new partnership with uh, cut water spirits. I love the new cans, by the way. Yeah. They got the, the brown and uh, the brown and yellow here and we've got the pinstripes on them. Yeah, they look great. They look great. They reached out to me last year, and uh, you know, once I looked into to the company, I thought it was the perfect partnership. I feel like uh, you know those the, those guys do a great job, especially a San Diego-based company. I love the vodka mule. I think it's great. Uh, I love love what they did with the Padre colors on there. It's made with the real spirits. Um, it's uh, it's really good, man. I've really enjoyed working with them so far. I encourage anybody that, that, that has not tried one to get out and try one. <laughs> oh, we've tried a few too many, I will yeah. say, Will. And, uh, you know, we've had them on the show before. These are the ones who created this drink uh, from the break room at Ballast Point. <laughs> and they yeah. got created right. there. Uh, so what are you guys up to? Cut out for baseball? What's that all about? Yeah, so they talk about the cutout. Uh, they did a great promotion with uh, the cardboard cutouts. I, uh, I was actually able to uh, to sign one and send to a fan. They're just encouraging people to get out uh, and, and cut out to, to a baseball game. I think they're just encouraging people to, you know, get away from their or their normal routines and be able to cut out to a baseball ga game. I think it's great. Uh, it's really cool what they're uh, what they're doing, getting behind the Padres right now and uh, and really pushing this team. It's uh, it's been a lot of fun working with them so far, and I really do. I really encourage anybody to get out there and try one and cut out with <laughs> water. We're looking at this really jolly face of someone <laughs> smiling. Um, so is the idea yeah. to just get cardboard cut out to put them all over town or what? <laughs> Well, I think they, uh, so, so, so far I've signed uh, the, one of the uh, customers I actually won, and uh, I, I signed my own cardboard cutout to, to send oh, cool. to them. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, if, if you win the contest, you can have a, a cardboard cutout of, of myself, and uh, I can send it to you. I hey, want one of those. <laughs> yeah, so you're not going to be indulging in uh, cut water here, obviously, with the big game here in Texas tonight. But we got to ask, are you more of a vodka mule or a tequila Paloma kind of guy? Because we had the video of the Paloma, too. That looks pretty good as well. Yeah, they're both they're both very good, man. Honestly, I'd probably go with the vodka mule, but honestly, both of them are very good. I haven't had one cut water uh, one cut water drink that I have not liked, so it's uh, I, I encourage everybody to try to find find which one that they that they like the most.
Yeah, I, I, we've had a few of these, and you're right. They're all really, really good. Can't go wrong. Uh, Will, you know, before we let you go, uh, this week just playing at Petco, if you could tell us, what was that like? Yeah. I mean, th we had 33% capacity, so you heard actual real life Live people. fans there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It was better. I'll tell you what, it was definitely better than the recording version right. that they played all last year. Yeah, it, was, was uh, it was great to have the, uh, the fans in the stands. It was great to have the crowd noise. Um, you know, even at 33 or 25 to 33 percent capacity, it felt very full. Um, it was just great to get out there and, and be in front of the fans at Petco Park. It was uh, I know they missed it last year and I know if we could have had fans in the stands last year, it would have been full, especially with the team that we have. So it's good to have it this year. We have a great team and uh, we're looking forward to seeing plenty of uh, Padres fans in the stands this year. We got to run here, Will, but I just wanted to know, are you guys fully chasing a championship this year? Do you guys think this is the club to get it done? Of course we're chasing it. Absolutely. Yeah, I know that for sure. This is definitely the team that that has a chance. We uh, we got a great group of guys, great pitch and great offense. So uh, this is definitely a year that we're chasing that. We uh, we got a great team and we're looking forward to it. Awesome. We sure do. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you so Cheers much. Cheers to you, buddy. Thanks yeah. for having Cheers. me. I appreciate All right, it. All right. Good luck guys. tonight. We'll drink for you while you're working hard. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I appreciate it. Have fun tonight. <laughs>